were two sisters. One like the marsh, and one like the sea. They were good. They were happy. <laughs> one day, down by the water, the two sisters came upon a duckling with his bill caught in an old boat propeller. Uh -huh. The sisters freed the duckling but found that his beak had been warped by the accident. His lips now parted like a horn. But the duckling hopped his thanks and was happy enough, and the sisters fed him soft breadcrumbs from their pockets. <laughs> Some time passed, and the girls had grown up a little. One day, they set to sea in a little skiff, and relaxing in the sun and the spray, they fell asleep. When they awoke, a thick and heavy fog had settled on the ocean top, and it was dark. They couldn't see an inch around their boat. The older and prettier and more delicate of the two began to cry. The sisters feared they were lost forever. Just then, they heard a familiar sound in the darkness, a sound like a foghorn. The older said, surely all is lost. A boat is coming and they will not see us in the dark. And as the sound grew closer and closer, the sisters were sure the boat would swallow them up. But no boat came. And no sooner could they make out a small shadow in the darkness than that shadow revealed itself to be the little duckling with the horn-shaped bill. <laughs> the duckling had grown some, too. And he honked with delight to find his old friends. He led his sisters back to shore, and they were safe. And they were happy. <laughs> Somewhere in these stories, there was a sister lost like mine. And somewhere in these happy endings, a way to reach her. How the devil married three sisters, a younger sister, to drag the others out of hell. The Wizard of Oz, a few clicks of the heel, and a longing for home. Tommy. <laughs> a broken mirror. Foghorn Duck was a story I used to tell her back when I would tell her stories every day. A story I invented just for her. My sister, lost in the dark. Maybe that was all she needed. A familiar voice in the fog. <laughs> <laughs>